With so many of us busier than ever, can you even remember as a mom when the last time was you had a good night's sleep? If you can't, researchers at the UC Sleep Medicine Center have an important warning for you tonight. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shares details. You never know it now, but just a few months ago, Rachel Sneed says just showing up to work each day was a job all its own. It started with headaches. Barely half the morning. <laughs> and ended when she says she was so exhausted she couldn't remember anything. It was like during the day I'll sit there and I'll be doing in the middle of something and then I lose my train of thought like what happened I'm young so why is this happening to me you know so like most women balancing work and family life she chalked it up to long hours too much to do and not enough time to do it eventually she says she was so tired of being tired all the time she turned to her friend and co-worker Dr. Jennifer Milano this this not recording kind of looks at an entire night <laughs> when she's sleeping Milano is a neurologist who specializes in sleep behavior. She did a sleep study of Sneed and discovered the exhaustion and likely memory problems were due not just to a lack of sleep, but what's called sleep apnea, where Sneed would stop breathing throughout the night several times. It is fixable with a breathing machine like this one worn at night. But here's what Dr. Milano wants exhausted women to know. There could be a link between sleep and lack of sleep and thinking. If you don't get a good eight hours each night, you don't eliminate what causes brain fog. Sleep is actually may sweep out toxins in the brain. And preliminary research shows long-term exhaustion might put you at an early risk for toxin accumulation. And that means an early risk for long-term memory problems. So then how do you know if it's just your busy life or your poor work schedule or home schedule or the kids that are keeping you up and when you really have a sleep problem that could influence your energy levels and your memory? The short answer is you likely don't know, but if you are exhausted all the time, ask a family member if they've observed you snoring, jerking in your sleep, or trying to act out your dreams at night. Any or all of these might be signs you need a sleep study. Don't underestimate sleep. I think a lot of times people tend to say, well, if I don't sleep very well or if I snore, that's fine and it, it won't have any consequences down the road. The good news? Good snoozing could lead to better brain power and a whole new you. Just ask Rachel Sneed. Oh my God, I feel like a new person, believe it or not. It may sound like a, a, a commercial, but I feel like a brand new person. At the UC Health Sleep Medicine Center, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And if you think you might need a sleep study, whether you're a mom or a dad, we have a link for you at local12.com. Just click on the Get It button, and in most cases, it is covered by your medical insurance plan.